Hi everyone, Terrence here to show you all about our newest product, the FMK, Flow Monitoring Kit. In an aquarium, water is being moved from one place to another all the time, either from the sump area to the display, or through a device or piece of filtration equipment. Until now, most aquarists have been flying blind in terms of knowing exactly how much water is flowing, or if it's even flowing at all. Since water flow is basically the way that corals breathe and eat, it's absolutely necessary to have the proper water flow in order to have a great reef tank. This is exactly why we developed the FMK for your apex. Water flow through pipes and tubes, it's always been a bit mysterious to aquarists. Many of us read what's printed on our pump and just assume that's the flow we're going to get. But these numbers are nowhere close to reality. Of course, some of us realize that the vertical portion of our plumbing impacts that flow rate. But what we often overlook is that every inch of pipe, every union, every elbow, basically every single fitting adds resistance and impedes the flow a little bit. Add them all together and most aquarists are getting half the flow that they think they are. As an example, we had one of our early testers of the FMK install the sensor on his tank powered by a very popular L1 pump that he had thought should be getting over 1,200 gallons per hour. However, with all the restrictions on his plumbing, the FMK told him it was actually getting just 580. Needless to say, he was quite blown away by this and immediately began optimizing his plumbing. Now, flow rates are not just critical for the return pump either. In order to operate correctly, the proper flow rate is required for carbon reactors, GFO reactors, external skimmers, biopellet reactors, algae scrubbers, UV, and many other pieces of equipment. Most people just, you know, wing it when it comes to setting these up. If they do happen to hit the sweet spot, well, after doing some cleaning or maintenance, they have no easy way to set it back to the way it was before. So, how will the FMK help with all of this? Initially, you may want to use this information to decide to scale up your return pump or better yet, optimize your plumbing to get back that hidden lost flow. Ongoing, the FMM will tell you if the flow drops because of an obstruction or it rises due to a break in the line. You'll get an alert and your apex can even take corrective action. You also can put sensors on your other important aquarium equipment and use them to fine tune their flow rate know when they're getting clogged, and much more. <laughs> There'll surely be many applications for the FMK we haven't even thought of yet. Now, before I go any further, I want to make one thing clear. The FMK was designed to work with every Apex out there. The new Apex, the Apex Classic, the Apex Lite, and the Apex Junior. Some out there thought that with the release of the new Apex, well, we'd just leave everybody behind when it came to new products. Well, we assured you we wouldn't, and so here's the proof that we didn't. So now, let's go over what comes in the box. The key component of the FMK is the new APEX module called the FMM, which stands for Fluid Monitoring Module. The FMM module is designed so that it can serve many purposes, and we'll get into some of those in a bit. But first, let me go over the connections and describe what they do. These connectors here are the Aquabus connectors, which is how you connect every module to your APEX. Next are the four input ports that look like headphone jacks. These ports are multifunctional and enable you to plug in many different fluid monitoring sensors into them. In the case of the FMK, the three flow sensors will plug into these ports. The next connector on the FMM is a DC24 accessory port, just like the ones you'll find on the OneLink module or the Energy Bar 832. It's here on the FMM because many times you want to take some action based on something you sense in the monitoring ports. For instance, powering on a device like the PMUT pump or the solenoid valve. Now the last connector is for a small power supply that would power that 24 volt accessory port. Like all new modules, the FMM has a new click release mounting system that makes it very convenient to place on the wall or under your aquarium stand and then to be able to easily remove it to make connections. The FMK includes three flow sensors that will accommodate the most common Aquarist needs. There is one flow sensor for one inch plumbing. This will normally be used for the main return pump line. And then there are these two sensors for half inch plumbing that can be used for various filters or reactors. Now the sensors that come with the FMK use British standard pipe threads. 
Suffice it to say that like so many things, what the rest of the world uses is different than what we use here in the USA. So if you're buying the FMK in the US, we have also included the necessary connecting hardware to make it work on the more common NPT plumbing used here. This makes it super easy for you to get going right out of the box. For the one inch sensors, we've included unions. And for the half inch sensors, we've included these threaded to slip adapters. Once you have the FMK installed, and don't worry, we have a great video showing you just how to do it, you'll be able to see your flow rates right here on the dashboard. It's even real easy to set up those high and low level alarms I discussed earlier. Just go here and move the sliders. You'll get an email or a text alert the moment something goes out of range. As an example, let's take a look at the main flow of my aquarium's return pump. I have a challenging configuration with a lot of vertical head pressure as my sump is under my home. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Right now I'm getting just under 1200 gallons per hour when my pump is rated for over 4800. I'm running it at just 72% because of the limitations on my overflows and drains, but all that loss is a result of my plumbing and head pressure. Now let's put my tank into feed mode. The variable speed pump is set to drop it to 38%. And now you'll see that my flow drops to just 24 gallons per hour. You can even do more complex operations as well. For instance, in my home aquarium with its variable speed pump, if the flow were ever to exceed 80%, my aquarium might overflow. I'm married, so needless to say, that would be very bad for me. All I need to do to prevent that is to simply go to the outlet for power for my pump and put this line in the configuration. And now I'll never have to worry about that. Add a line like this here, and I'll also get a text alert telling me that that just happened. So you can see, adding the FMK to your aquarium not only gives you incredible insight, but you can use that insight to get alerts or make critical decisions on the operation of your aquarium. Now, here's another example. When you run GFO in a reactor, you often must fine tune that reactor for just the right flow to get a slight tumble on the top of the media but not so much that it mixes it all up. With the FMK, you can put the half inch flow sensor on the input to that GFO reactor and set the flow where you like. Note the flow rate and enter it into the alerts. Now, should a reactor get clogged or flow too much, you're gonna get that alert. As I explained before, the FMK comes with three flow sensors, but the FMM module has four inputs as well as that DC24 accessory port. So here are a few things you could purchase for those available connections. You could of course add another one inch or half inch flow sensor like the ones you received in the kit, but also available are sensors for both two inch plumbing and one quarter inch tubing. In the USA, the two inch flow sensor even comes with two two inch unions. The quarter inch sensor uses compression fittings and is perfect for things like measuring the flow into your RODI unit and potentially alerting you when the flow has dropped due to the filters needing a change. And one more thing, the FMM can be used as a leak detection device as well by using these new leak detection probes. One is weighted for solid surfaces and the other is slimline so it can be placed under the carpet. Now what about that other accessory port? Well that is a DC24 port just like the ones found on the One Link or the Energy Bar 832. There are already a couple of accessories offered for these ports. At this time we offer the PMUP utility pump as well as a solenoid valve with quarter inch quick disconnect fittings. Of course, to make them work, you'll also need to get one of these 24 volt power supplies. Well, I hope this video helps you see the advantages of monitoring the flow on your aquarium. It really does give you so much more insight as well as that extra peace of mind. Look for the FMK at your local fish store or at your favorite online retailer. Now, if you like this video, as always, please let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll know the instant our next video comes out. Until then, enjoy that reef.